Hello and welcome to the very first episode of The Afterburner. I'm your host, Courtney Kenny, and we're going to take you into everything Blossom Voodoo's. Later on, I'll be joined by Jordan Pierce, who will have some information and some stats on tonight's game. But first, let's get into the previous home game. The Powassan Voodoos defeated the French River Rapids 13-1 en route to a three-game winning streak last week against the French River Rapids. Yes, three games against the Rapids. That is not a typo. That was not a scheduling mistake. The Voodoos played one game here and two games on the road against the Rapids. Tonight's game saw the Timmins Rock come into the Powassan Sportsplex and the Powassan Voodoos defeated them 4-1. Here's some highlights of tonight's game. comes Martoni. Martoni over the line. Going in, go wide. Look in front. Slides to the hole! Good play by Martoni. Right out in front to Henry Scott. Makes it 1 0. Voodoo's. Lots of room there. That shot goal. Masternak makes the save. Back over right in front. Cut. It's a goal! Right out in front. Mills. Makes it 2 0. Boston. Right on front. Tawana upstairs! Right where Gravel keeps the cookie! Top shelf! Makes it 3 0. And a bad giveaway by Timmins. So the Cristallo. Sagan. Sagan. It's Chuck the scores! Derek Sagan puts Timmins on the board. Got the fact that Timmins just pulled the goalie. Folks, Boston will skate away with a 4-1 victory. Huge victory for the Voodoos. Huge. Would you look at that? The Boston Voodoos extended their winning streak to four games in a row with that sweet, sweet victory over the Timmins Rock. And now to Jordan Pierce. Thanks, Courtney. Coming into the game, the Boston Voodoos were three points behind the Timmins Rock. Uh, after the game concluded, Powassan finished one point behind Timmins for fourth and th six points behind Kirkland for first place in the East. Now to our ace of the game. All right, thank you for that, Jordan. And I'm here with tonight's first star of the game and our ace of the game goaltender, Joe Verbetic. And Joe, big, big win against the divisional Timmins Rock. Uh, talk about the game a little bit. Uh, we just got off to a quick start. You know, it was a tough game, but got three goals quick and uh, just fought our way through the rest of the game. And all the guys played a great game and we ended up getting a big win out of it. Now, the, your division's so bunched up. I mean, coming into the game, there was eight points separating you guys from Kirkland Lake, and, and that's really no room for error whatsoever. So do you feel the pressure as a rookie when, when you get tapped to be the starting goaltender? Um, no, I just try to you know, play my game, and I know uh, coach feels confident with me if he's playing me, and I just take that as a positive thing and do my best out there. Now you started the season scorching hot and then you had a, hit a little bit of a lull, but now you've kind of picked up your game a little bit. What have you liked from your season so far? Um, I just liked all the, uh, like all the guys in the dressing room and the coaches. They've, uh, they've helped push me throughout the year in practices and uh, it's just, we always try to get better every day as a team. Now you, uh, you played for the Don Mills Flyers last season and now you're with the Voodoos of course this season. But you're also a draft pick of the North Bay Battalion. Uh, talk about hearing your name getting called by the, by the battalion. Uh, it was pretty exciting. I, um, you know, I was not sure what team I was going to get drafted to, but when I got uh, when I heard my name for North Bay, I was pretty excited. It's a great organization, and uh, hopefully, I'll play in the future. Now, you you did have a cup of coffee with the team uh, playing in half a game earlier in the season. Just talk about the experience when. Oh no, they're putting me in net now in the OHL. Yeah, it was pretty scary for sure. It was definitely like you said scary that it's the OHL but uh, you know the crowd started to cheer at the start when I was making some save and it just gave me some confidence at the start and had fun with it. What are what are some of the things that they uh, maybe told you to go work on while you're playing in Powassan and uh, have they given you a timeline of when we'll see you again with the battalion? Uh, yeah they just uh, after training camp you know Adam Dennis he uh, told me to have a great work ethic all year and because uh, that'll help me and also just to uh, play confident, play my game, and try and get as much games as I can with the Voodoo's, so it'll train me. So hopefully when I go back up there, I'll, I'll uh, get the experience of playing games. And um, 
I'm not sure when you'll see me next with the troops. It's, uh, it all depends, but hopefully soon. All right, thanks, Joe, for this interview. It's been great, and uh, not as great as your performance tonight, though, so thank you again. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So you heard from Joe Verbedek, who was our ace of the game, and again, first star, uh, stopping 35 out of 36 shots against the Timmins Rock tonight. The next home game for the Voodoos is Friday, February the 8th, as the Hearst Lumberjacks come to the Powassan Sportsplex. The last time that the Lumberjacks visited Powassan, they came away with a victory and were one of the hottest teams in the NOJHL. Of course, they're a team that the Powassan Voodoos are trailing in their division. Thank you for tuning in to the Afterburner. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been your host, Courtney Kenny.